They told me boys don't cry or play with Barbies So my whole life I've tried my hardest To be the man that they wanted me to be Short fic because limited time and signal is unstable So I just want to say that this is a repost Anything that has wit on the background is a repost Because as you know, wit has shut down Letters of Love the team was changing from their practice shirts to their uniforms or extra shirts after practice when a note fell from Hinata's locker. Huh? The smaller picked the letter up and turned it around showing the English letters for Hinata Shoyo. Oh ho ho! Our Kohai seems to have a letter! A love letter for Shoyo! Nice! The chaotic duo senpai appeared out of nowhere and began peeking at the letter. I guess. Did I open it? Open it, open it, open it. All right, all right. Show you slowly open the letter and read it aloud. Hi, you're such an annoying person to fall in love with, but I'm in love with you anyway. What? That's not a good letter. Haha. -ha. Give it a chance, you two. Read more. Man, do I have a bad feeling about this confession? I will, I will. Shh, senpai. I'm sorry if this sounds mean. I'm kind of not good with words. Oh, so that's why the words are mean. Shh. No, yeah, let them finish. But if you find it in your heart to give me a chance, that'd be great. Shoya's eyes then lit up, smile turning even more impossibly brighter as he read the last sentence. Also, Hinata, I think you're amazing and adorably bubbly. Heart. Aw, that's so sweet. I kind of like this letter. Bummer, dude. They didn't sign the letter. But I thought the sender wanted a chance. He did. Nishinoya and Tanaka looked at each other in confusion before they looked at Shoyo again. What do you mean, Shoyo? Do you know the guy? Yeah. Actually, Shoyo's smile didn't fade from his face as he tucked the letter in his jacket and closed his locker door. Then he bounded off to Tsukishima who was waiting for Yamaguchi to be done with his business with Inoshita. Ne, Tsukishima! The blonde took off his headphones and let them hang around his neck. Hmm? So, Sunday? Sunday. Shoyo took the letter from his jacket and showed it to Kei. Hmm. Shoya's grin was so big now that his eyes were almost a thin line on his face as Kay looked away from the letter. The blonde shifted in his stance, hands tucked deep into his pockets as he avoided Shoya's gaze. So, Sunday? S Sunday. Sukishima, how about the movies? I don't know what you're talking about. But the letter! Kay snatched the letter from Shoya's hold, crumpling it and throwing it back to the shorter. There, no more letter. So we're going Sunday? What? No! Hmm, Sunday it is. Ugh, fine, it was me. Kay looked away with a blush, cheeks turning redder as he laid eyes on the open jaw, speechless senpais behind Shoya. He then glared down at the grinning redhead, cursing him in his head how cute he looked. How'd you find out anyways? My name! Shoya opened the crumpled paper and lifted it to Kei's face, pointing at the first kanji on Hinata. I've seen you doodle it a couple times on your notes. God, I'm such a dork. You are! It's cute anyway. They both flushed at the statement, Shoya coughing to break the awkwardness. So, the first kanji on Hinata, you make it a little bit lengthy to make it a bit like the first kanji on Tsukishima. I. Kei pushed his glasses up his face to hide the red blush he knew he was sporting. It's cute! It's embarrassing! Kei was so scandalized at the revelation and characteristically raising his voice to defend himself. Shoya just chuckled at Kei then fiddled with his hands. So, Sunday? Kei looked away with a still red face, gulping to regain composure. Yeah, yeah, Sunday. Shoya jumped in victory of a sealed date, fawning over Kei as he tries to escape embarrassment. Let's just say Tanaka, Nishinoya, and Yamaguchi were left behind by the two as they escaped to be by themselves. And...